Hi guys, oh, welcome back to a brand new episode of Again Saucy with Chef Cheryl. I'm here at Gerhard's Appliances in Glenside, Pennsylvania, and today I'm working on my Viking stovetop to give you guys an easy five ingredient weeknight dinner with my favorite ingredient, of course, pasta. So let's get to it. So today we're going to make tortellini carbonara. Now normally carbonara is made by tempering uh, egg yolks into heavy cream, but today we want to do a fast five ingredient recipe that you can get on the table for your family. So I'm going to show you how to do a much easier version of it. So here I just have a pot of water come into a full rolling boil. And what I'm going to add to that is meat or cheese filled tortellini, your choice. So this is about, I'd say about 30 ounces of tortellini. You can use less. Um, 19 ounces is perfectly fine. So your tortellini is going to boil very quickly, three to five minutes, depending on um, when the pasta rises to the top. Okay. So let's get that covered and start to make our sauce while that's going. Turn our heat up back on our pasta because we added that cold tortellini. So it's going to bring down the temperature. And here I just have my large skillet, and inside of it I have one tablespoon of butter. So to that I'm going to add uh, nine ounces of pancetta. Pancetta is like a thick cut Italian bacon. So you're just gonna add that right to your pan. Turn up your heat to about medium high so you can start to sizzle that and let that brown. So what the pancetta is going to do is it's going to release its fat into the pan and create a delicious, hearty, um, flavor for your garlic and your cream to simmer in. So we're going to get that started. Get our pancetta nice and browned off. Now the reason I wanted to do this for you guys today is because when fall and winter weather comes around, we'd like something to eat that's a little more hearty than our normal, let's say, quick and easy pasta primavera. So I want to show you guys that even if you need a hearty fall or winter meal, you can still have that accomplished in just a few ingredients. This is why I do a lot of Italian food on the show. I grew up eating it and I absolutely love it. It's simple ingredients made in a quick way that tastes like you spent all day cooking. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> so, our pancetta is looking lovely. It's starting to brown. I can smell it. It smells amazing. Like I said, you can also use a thick cut bacon if you'd like. That also is um, a totally acceptable alternative to your pancetta if you don't have any in your local store. It should be rather easy to get, but again, thick cut bacon would be your alternative. Okay, so our pancetta is up. So we're gonna add to that, here I have three cloves of minced garlic. Um, the finer you mince your garlic, the more of a garlic flavor you're gonna impart to your dish. So keep that in mind with how small or how large you'd like to chop your garlic. Some people like to crush it, leave it whole, throw it in the pan, cut it down into nice slivers like you would picture a slivered almond. I like to get mine chopped so I can really get my garlic flavor inside. So I'm just gonna add my garlic right to the pan. Give that a little whirl. Mmm, delicious. Okay, now that I have my garlic in, I'm gonna have to lower my pan back down to about medium. We definitely don't wanna scorch our garlic. And then we're gonna add our heavy cream to that. So here I have a quart of heavy cream. If you'd like to measure it out, you're gonna use about one to one and a half cups of cream. So I'm just gonna slowly add my cream into the pan. Perfect. So now as my tortellini is boiling, now I'm not going, I'm going to continue with the sauce. Now I'm not going to add salt to my cream base because that pancetta is so salty and so delicious, it honestly does not need it. So, I'm gonna give it a quick whirl to combine it. Now what I have here is fresh grated Parmigiano cheese. Um, this is about five ounces. Um, so this is going to be our thickener for our sauce instead of our egg yolks. So I'm simply just gonna add our Parmesan to the pan. Now I'm gonna use my rubber spatula to combine that cheese, get a nice thickness. Oh yeah, my cheese is melting already. So again, we're just gonna keep an eye on that heat because now you have cream and cheese in the pan and you want neither to scorch, so just keep an eye on it. Let's see how our tortellini are doing. Okay, almost ready. So I will meet you guys back here in about two minutes when my tortellini's done and we'll put this sauce together. Okay guys, welcome back. So our tortellini is completely to come to a boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my cooked tortellini, 
stray from my pan. Make sure I get a, most of that water out, but it's okay if it just a little bit remains. It won't thin your sauce that much. So what I'm gonna do is just pour my tortellini directly in to our beautiful sauce mixture. Then we're gonna use our rubber spatula to get it all mixed up. Oh, it looks delicious, you guys. I wish you could see how incredible it is. And it smells like carbonara without having to go through the trouble of tempering your eggs and, you know, a more intense version. This is perfect for weeknight. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna ladle our tortellini into our bowl. And we're gonna pour a little bit of that sauce on top and get it covered with some nice fresh herbs and cheese like always. Oh, the cheese pull, you guys, and this gorgeous sauce. I wish you could see up close how delicious this looks. I hope a few of you came to visit me this past weekend. I did see a lot of smiling faces. You know, I am here at Gerhardt's Glenside on the weekends, cooking, serving up food for you guys, talking about tips, tricks, recipes, everything you need to get a delicious meal on the table. I want to be a part of that. So... Let's grab a rag and clean up the edges of our dish so we can get ready to serve. So here in front of me, I just have a little bit more Parmigiano and a little bit of chopped Italian parsley. So I'm just gonna simply cover my dish in those herbs. I'm gonna top them with a little bit more cheese because we always want more cheese, more formaggi, right? So we're gonna put our cheese on top. And I like to serve this with a nice slice or two of a hearty bread for dipping. So I'm gonna pull up so you guys can see that sauce all together in the end. And I hope that you join me again for another five ingredient weeknight meal here in Glenside at Gerhardt's. We love to see you. We hope to see you again. And until then, stay saucy. Mm -hmm.